Election petition. Tribunals decide to nibble 25 governors' cases September. By then, this unbelievable has just happened. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. There is Zaiti as President Bola Tinubu and 25 state governors await the verdict of the tribunals handling the presidential, the governorship, the National Assembly, and the State Assembly elections petitions. The panelists are expected to deliver their judgment this month. Out of the 28 states where the governorship elections were held, the result of the polls announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission are being contested in no fewer than 25 states. Imagine. That means INEC failed. Out of 28 states, 25 states are contesting election in their various states. So who, who, who is not telling us that the, the election that was conducted by uh, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, the INEC chairman, was free and fair? If out of 28 states, 25 states are contesting the election, that means something went wrong. Most of the tribunals which were sitting in Lagos, Sokoto, Delta, Kano, and 21 other states, as well as Abuja, have revised their judgment after the uh, parties concluded their hearing and adopted their written address or addresses in the line with the, the practice direction for the election petitions issued by the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monica Dambo Menese. However, political parties and their candidates who are apprehensive about the outcome of their petitions resorted to prayers and other issues Functionary words and administrations to the justice to do what is right. The core justice of Nigeria, the chief justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayo De Ariwala, had in November 2022 sworn in 307 justices to handle the 2023 election petitions, while on additional 39 justices. We are inaugurated on May 25th, 2023, totaling 346, and they were expected to deliver judgment before September 16th. By law, the 346 justices sitting on the panels were mandated to hand down their judgment 180 days after the filling of the petitions by the aggrieved candidates. Section 285.6 in bracket of the 1999 Constitution provides that an election tribunal shall deliver judgment in writing within 180 days from the date of filing of the petition. The Presidential Election Petition Tribunal had reserved judgment after the petitioners, the, people, the People's Democratic Party, and its uh, standard bearer, Atiku Abubakar, and Peter Ubi, and the Labour Party closed their cases in June after calling 40 out of 150 witnesses earlier listed in their petitions, challenging the victory of the All Progressive Congress and the President. Why Tinubu's lawyer prayed for a successful outcome, Atiku's legal team admonished the tribunal to shun executive intimidation and dispense judgment on the matter. A member of the pres president's legal team, Yusuf Ali San, said he was hopeful of victory. He said, we pray for success at the end of the day. Cases are conducted in the court and not in the media, either social or mass media. The court listens to facts and applies the law. 
The director of publicity for the APC, Bala Ibrahim, denied that the ruling party was under any form of pressure and expressed confidence that justice would be served. He said, which pressure? The ruling party has already delivered, unlike the Labour Party, which is still grooming in Labour. The pressure is on them, obviously. Anybody that is in Labour is likely to be under pressure. But a member of Article's legal team, Mike Ozeko Mersan, urged the tribunal to dispense justice on the matter. He said Nigerians and the international community were watching them. Ozeko Mersan said, not for judgment dates yet. I expect justice to be done. I expect the tribunal to shun the blaring silence of power or executive intimidation to do justice. I expect the tribunal to know that Nigerians are Nigerians, the international community, and indeed the whole world are watching. When in the PDP expressed confidence in, in the ability of the tribunal justice to dispense justice on the party's expectations from the tribunal, the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Ibrahim Madulai, Simple said, sources, without making further comments. But a loyalist of Atiku and the Deputy National Youth Leader of the PDP, Timothy Osadolo, argued that given the weight of evidence before the tribunal, the party and the former vice president had every reason to hope that justice will prevail. Similarly, the National Legal Advisor of the Labour Party, Kainde Idom submitted that the party was hopeful about the outcome of the judgment. So, guys, you've all heard it. Now, Nigerians are expecting the judiciary court to give them just verdicts, as they say. All what we want from you is just verdicts. Okay. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.